Okay, and we're back. Just like I said, I went ahead and um, chopped up everything. I have the jalapeno chopped, I have um, onions, and I have tomato. It's kind of a rough chop. I like my um, guacamole kind of chunky, so, you know, that's why it's so big looking. Cilantro, we're just going to, you know, tear it and put it in the bowl. I have the um, avocado halved and pitted. And I just went ahead and, you know, cut it through to just make it easier. That's what the guy did at the restaurant last night. So I'm just doing the same thing that he did. Now, hopefully, if I sit the camera this way, well, maybe not. Maybe if I do the camera this way, you guys can see more of what I'm doing. Yeah? No? Maybe? Okay. Good. So, I have the avocado. And this should be easy to just scoop. Let me see if you guys can see that. Yeah, it should be easy to scoop. And then it just kind of folds out. So. That's one avocado half. I realized that the second bowl that I have, I'm just going to use it as like a garbage bowl. So I can put all my stuff in there. So here's another avocado half I'm putting in there. I'm just going to scoop it out with the spoon. Now, I'm very slow at this, but the guy yesterday, he was rocking and rolling. He was doing it so fast. So, whatever. This is my first guacamole. Don't fault me for it, being so slow. So, I got... Mm -mm, he don't want to come out. You're going to be in this bowl. Alright, so I know how I had three um, whole avocados, but I only cut two because I'm trying to figure out if I need the three, really. Was I just trying to be greedy? Um, so I'm going to mix it up first and see whether or not the third avocado is actually needed. Might be, but because I have a lot of ingredients. So, avocado is in the bowl, and I'm just going to put in the tomato, lettuce, that's lettuce, I'm tripping, onions, and um, jalapeno. I'm going to mix that in there together. There's really no rhyme or reason on how I'm doing. I'm just dumping it in there. I have no idea about the measurements. I couldn't tell you if I'm doing a cup. It maybe looks like a cup of tomatoes, if I can just eye it out. It looks like maybe a cup of tomato, a cup of onion, and then just one whole um, jalapeno. So I have that in there. I'm going to wash my hands because I had all the stuff on it. I'm dry them off really quick. So... It's looking really festive so far. It's looking pretty festive. And, um, I'm going to take my big spoon. Now, the guy at the, um, restaurant last night, he had a rubber spatula. Which, I have a rubber spatula, but I have to be honest, I don't know where it is. So, I was looking for it so I could have it for the video. And I cannot find it anywhere. So we're going to use the spoon. And we're also going to use a fork. Because I saw a recipe online that said that you can just do it with a fork to make it just as good. So we're going to fork, fork, fork. The guacamole. And more than uh, I'm looking at it, I might need a little bit that other avocado. Which is cool. Alright. So it's starting to look really good. Oops, we got some stragglers. I'm going to put a little bit of the sea salt in it. Now, I think he put in like a tablespoon of salt. My recipe is not that big, so I'm just going to put like a half a tablespoon of salt. Not that much. Because if it's um, a little salty, then it'll be gross. And I don't want to do that. So I'd rather put less salt in it than more salt. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So, mashing the guac down. It's looking like guacamole a little bit. Maybe, maybe not. 
Mm. Maybe. Just a little, just a tad. I'm going to put in a little bit of pepper. I didn't see him put pepper in his, but I put pepper in everything. So, the sea salt, the pepper. I'm going to go ahead and just take a little bit of the cilantro. I just kind of took a handful. Again, no measurements on that. I'm going to give it like a rough chop as well. Y'all can hear that on my cutting board. Just a rough, rough, rough chop. I need some better knives. Anyway, let's put that in there. I'm not going to put everything in there, though. And I am still going to keep mashing it up. You know, mashing these avocados was a little more difficult than I expected. I thought it was just going to be a little smoother than this at first. But there, it's really trying its hardest to stay pretty chunky. So I'm going to move to the spoon and see if maybe that gives me a little bit more. I mean, so far, <laughs> this is very, very chunky. Which is, is not bad. I mean, I like chunky guacamole. But anyway, you guys kind of...